All right, so special thanks to these folks who reached out to me to show you guys an unboxing this PoE switch. Not a whole lot at all to show you around the box. Recyclable, got their logo and stuff. Again, their logo and stuff. 16 port 10100 PoE switch, which normally, you know, you don't really need gigabit for PoE. And their logo again on the back. Go ahead and unbox this. All right, commercial series switches. A little uh, included user's guide. And then this should be our power cable. Yep, power cable. Mounting brackets, nothing else in there. And then this will be the actual switch. So there we go. So I'll take this out. One thing I love about this is that the uh, a lot of times with PoE switches, they'll have a big power brick, and this power brick seems to be built in. So I love that. Just the back has the power. It's got the sides where you can mount it in a rack. Same over here. And then here is all of the ports. So you have two gigabit uplink ports. So what that means is that a gigabit uplink means that you can set this inside of another network with other devices and plug it out into a gigabit switch to uh, kind of continue that gigabit speed. Even though these devices won't have gigabit, it'll kind of loop through everything else that's gigabit. So you'd be able to plug in a cable from a gigabit switch to here, and then plug in another cable from here to another gigabit switch and still have gigabit switch ethernet since this is technically a 10100 switch down here. Now there's default, VLAN, and extend. I don't know which mode it needs to be in, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. This G19 looks like, yes, this is an SPF slot. So uh, this is for like fiber optics. So very cool. It feels nice, feels just like any other network uh, switch that you would have. 